Hi, I am Nancy Clements, and this is the USB cable for my dash cam. Now, I'm sure you can see that something is not quite right here. It is damaged, so one of two things needs to happen. I either need to replace the entire cable or fix the existing one. Now, as this one is already run all the way through the car, Plus it's a proprietary fitting, so I can't really just use any cable. I'd have to get a replacement from the manufacturer of the dash cam. So fixing it is a much better option. Now I could just sacrifice another cable, just splicing it in, preferably from one that has a good A end and possibly a damaged device end. But for a more professional look for just a few bucks, you can get replacement USB ends. So let's just solder one of these on. So first things first, let's just cut off the bad tip. Now the very first step before anything else, I'm going to slip a piece of heat shrink tubing over the wire. Using heat shrink tubing means you don't have to have a wad of this stuff all over your electrical projects, leaving you with a much cleaner and professional looking result. But it's extremely easy to forget. You'll have just finished your soldering job only to realize you didn't put any heat shrink tubing on. And that's a real bummer. So we are going to slip some of that on first thing. And with that out of the way, we can now strip the wires and I'm just going to use some scissors for the main sheath. And with that off, I'll use some, uh, some of these to pull off the interior wire. And now to just solder on the new tip. Now, if you need to look up a wiring diagram, you can, but for power, we are just interested in the outside pins. And we're going to do black negative on the left and red positive on the right. And I have a nice little helping hand just to keep things in place. Battery powered soldering iron, which is really convenient when you need to solder on location. So first I'm just going to tin the tip of the wires, which basically just means putting some solder on it. Open my door for some ventilation. Very nice. There we go. And now to just snap on the covers. So we put on the back and the front and just snap that shut. Now, unfortunately, this specific enclosure is not designed for this thick of a wire. So we can just shave this down a bit. Careful not to cut into our wires. All right, and that closes up a fair bit better. And now to help keep that closed, we have the piece of heat shrink tubing that we slid on there at the very beginning. So we can just slide that over the end right there and use some heat to shrink that tubing. Hello darkness, my old friend. And we'll use some heat to shrink the tubing. And that looks really nice. Now, since these are on the cheaper side, just to be sure that that enclosure doesn't come off, since it's only on there with a very small friction fit, we're just going to take another piece of heat shrink tubing and put that on as well. Just going to cut off a piece about that size. Just slip that over. Looks pretty good. Fire up the heat gun again. And there is our completed repair. That was easy, quick, it looks really good, but of course, does it work? So we'll go ahead and plug that in, power it on, success. There we go, fast, easy, cost-effective way to repair a USB cable. Now again, if you're doing this for a power cable, especially one that's long, already installed, proprietary, I can definitely recommend this. If it's for a data cable, however, well, there's no reason you can't solder in your own tip. If you don't do something just right, if you get something missoldered or you don't have the proper shielding, you're bound to experience issues, things like connection problems, stability, transfer issues. You could even end up with corrupt files. So unless there's a specific reason, I would just recommend always buying nice, high-quality data cables. But either way, 
you know how to repair your USB tips now. So my sincere thank you for watching. Once again, I am Nikki Clements. If you're wondering, Nick is short for Nicholas and the D stands for damaged. Anyway, I'm off to make something else. Plus it has a provide plus it has a propi proprietary 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 plus it has a proprietary connection <laughs>